We've got so much important, unique and endangered fauna and flora, specifically in the southwest of WA, but all over Australia. And I think it's important that people maybe just get out and, and have a bit of a look around and, and learn about what's what's in your own backyards. Here we go. Oh, wow. I've always been passionate about wildlife and nature, and I think ever since I can remember, that's, that's where I wanted to work. Still warming up. Pretty much started working with the red-tailed fascigales straight out mainly around habitat management and, and invasive species management. The red-tailed fascigales is a small carnivorous marsupial. Sit in the palm of your hand quite comfortably, um, with a tail probably just as long as well. They're very agile. They've got a mouth full of really pin-sharp teeth for sort of latching onto insects and other slippery things. Pretty cute and cuddly animals, as long as they're not latched onto the end of your finger. 69 grams, 70 grams, OK. Nice little snack for, for cats and foxes. You can see the characteristic red crackly tail there. Listed as endangered, so um, they're pretty unique and they're pretty important. And that's why the you know the work we're doing in the you know, conservation is so critical. So I found a nice stag hollow bearing tree, which we'll release her in just behind me there. They nest during the day in tree hollows. They like to get out of the heat. They'll come out just at dusk. They love the canopy cover in the trees. They like dense undergrowth. There he goes, he found one there. Nice. Foxes and cats are probably the biggest threat to red-tailed fascigale now. If you can imagine coming out of your tree hollow and then kind of running the gauntlet, um, dodging foxes, cats and owls. In the meantime, trying to catch as much food as you can. They're very active and they need, they need a lot of food to survive. It'd be a pretty scary lifestyle, I think. They're amazing at what they do, the feral cats. They're, they're the perfect predator. They're very aggressive. They're, they're pretty scary, really. If they scare me, I don't know what they'd do to a fascigale. Every country town, as you know, has got a pub and a restaurant. And so a lot of food waste goes into these open, open pits and they don't get covered very often. Cats tend to breed up in these areas and move out into the surrounding fascigale habitat. We're trapping at the tip sites um, where we get probably 50% trap success compared to our 1% trap success uh, out, out in the field trapping ferals, so it's a much more efficient way of getting them. Habitat destruction, invasive species are, are a big impact, climate change is another one. I see a lot of hope, yeah, we've got to stay on the ball and we've got to keep working on it. Trying to manage the, the impact of invasive species is, is a huge job at the moment and such an important one to, um, to secure these guys into the future.